Hey, this is Kevin Dees, the creator of Type Rocket, and I want to show you how to install Type Rocket into our theme. So here I have a WordPress installation already set up. And if I jump over to the browser, I'm using the 2017 theme. Everything is looking good and installed. So the next step is to install Type Rocket into the theme. So I'm going to jump over to the themes directory and I want to grab the 2017 theme and then jump over to that. And we'll see we have everything that we need there. Now to install Type Rocket, we need to use Composer. Composer will be linked in the notes of this, but essentially it's a package dependency manager and Type Rocket is a package that we're going to be using and it's a command line tool that we can use in order to install files very quickly. So it's, it's very nice for development and building things out. So I'm going to create a project using Composer, and then I'm going to prefer the dist version, which is the version that I want to use for distribution or production. And then I'm interested in Type Rocket. Okay, so I'm just going to run this command, and that's going to go off to Composer, Packages, and GitHub and download everything for me. So let's just wait a second here, and that'll download. Okay, so the Composer command runs a few things and does stuff for us but essentially it configures Type Rocket and everything that we need. So we can jump over to our editor and then include the Type Rocket files that have just been downloaded in the 2017 theme. The file that we're interested in is under Type Rocket and it's this init file. So inside of our functions.php file within the 2017 theme, at the very top, I'm going to require Type Rocket. Type Rocket, and then I want that init file. And there we go. Type Rocket is installed. So to view that, I'm just going to jump back over to the browser and refresh the page. And here we'll see the dev plugin's been enabled, which means that Type Rocket is ready to go. Now you can disable the dev plugin, but this is installing Type Rocket, and we're ready to start coding, configuring, and then we can enable and disable the things that we want and don't want before we deploy it to production. So I hope you've enjoyed installing TypeRocket and you're ready to start coding some awesome themes.